Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're at the Pendixie Trilobite Park, or Fossil Park, hunting for trilobites and other Middle Devonian fossils. Currently we're in one of the first pits, um, mainly doing some surface collecting. We've already found a brachiopod we found so far, a little crinoid stem. We've been here about two minutes. Um, the guides brought us down here, told us a little bit of what to look for, and set us free. So we'll see what we can find today. Today's site is located in western New York, just south of Buffalo and Niagara Falls. But the fossils we'll be finding at the site are far different from the animals you'd find in New York today. That's because these animals were alive about 380 million years ago during the Devonian period. During the Devonian, this area was close to the equator and was a shallow sea full of life. Common animals of the time included rugos corals, otherwise known as horn corals, which were a solitary coral unlike most corals that we're familiar with today that live in a colony or a reef. Crinoids are another fossil that's common at this site. These fossils are also known as sea lilies. It's pretty rare to find the top or bottoms of the sea lilies, but the middle segment, which looks like tiny little discs that sometimes have a hole or a star in the middle, are pretty common at this site. The fossils we are most looking for today are the trilobites. Trilobites were a type of arthropod that was widespread throughout the early Paleozoic era. They're sort of similar to a horseshoe crab or a potato bug today. During the Devonian, there were lots of trilobites, but there was also a mass extinction event, and most trilobite species died out by the end of the Devonian. This site is known for having a lot of those trilobite fossils. I've only found like two trilobites in my entire life, so I'm hoping we'll have some luck here today. What you find? Trilobite. <laughs> trilobite butt. A little trilobite butt. First one. We've been here five minutes. Nice. You're always finding the best stuff. What do you have now? Like some horn corals here. Oh, nice. That actually might be like the end of a crinoid. Oh, cool. Um, like the top or the bottom of it. I'm so jealous, I've never found one of those. Yeah, that looks, I think, like a coral. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a chunk of trilobite in there. Yeah, it's either like trilobite eye or it could be a bryozoan. I think it's, like I think it's yeah, I think it's trilobite though. Yeah. Awesome. If you're not super familiar with fossils and you don't know what to look for, they do give you this little card that shows you all the common fossils here. So, no need to study up on your fossils ahead of time. piece has a little bit of pyrite in it. A little fool's gold in there. Very neat. This piece has some interesting stuff in it. So we've got a little coral down there. Um, maybe a little piece of a trilobite shed there. A little baby brachiopod up here. Maybe it kind of looks like a little trilobite eye. Little bumps on it there. I might take this piece home and try to break it apart in a better environment than out in the field. I don't really know what's going on there. Weird pattern. Hmm. What do you see in there? Uh, there's like some trilobite chunks or something. Ah. We can take him home and play with the little chisel so that we have at home. Yeah, we can get better stuff. <laughs> Alright. There's a little imprint of something there. Probably a brachiopod. Another one on that side there. Alright, I see a pretty nice brachiopod. Do you guys see it? It's right here. Look at that. Very cool. Another little brachiopod, just right on the surface there. We've got some more imprints of something there. And then over here we've got part of a brachiopod, another part of a brachiopod up there. More brachiopods here. All right, a couple of interesting pieces here. We've got this little guy here. Part of a brack, I think. 
crack your bud. And then in this piece here, we got a little little horn coral. So he would have been oriented like that down in the ground. So most coral you're familiar with form in a colony. These would have been solitary corals that lived on their own. Um, so each coral would have been one animal that would dig down into the ground with their point and uh, would have something at the top. So I'll take that home, maybe clean it up a little bit more. All right, this right here, definitely part of a trilobite. Probably the middle section. <laughs> Yay. I see a whole bunch of corals over here. We've got one, two, three. Is there a fourth one? Alex found another trilobite section. Is it this one? Yep. Nice. A little, a little above the butt of it. Torso. There's a horn coral right next to it. Nice. Should I put these in the bucket? Yes. Another piece of a uh, iron pyrite. Pyrite tends to form a lot in limestones and shales. Um, I'm not sure what it is about it, but it's often found in these kind of sites. Another pyrite piece. This is like long and skinny. I wonder if it was like a worm burrow that filled in with pyrite or a root cast. Probably a worm burrow if it was underwater. But uh. Interesting little piece we found. Oh wow, we got another little trilobite bit, some crinoids, horn coral. Oh, we got like a trilobite eye. Mm -hmm. Awesome. More horn corals. Another trilobite bit there. Very nice. All right, so we are making our way into the main trilobite area. More over here. I think. Down in the mud here, we've got three nice big brachiopods. One, two, and three. Maybe there's more, but uh, all good size for what we've been finding so far. Very nice. This is what you'd call a fossil soup. So it's just a whole death plate with a whole bunch of different fossils on it. So you've got crinoids, you've got bryozoan hash, probably some brachiopod pieces. Lots of, lots of crinoids. Um, but basically it would have just been where a lot of things all died and were compressed together. Alex found another trilobite eye. And then I found all of this all within like one square foot of each other. All these little corals and crinoids. We've got lots of brachiopod imprints here. This one's got a couple of really, really nice ones. I'm probably gonna take that one home with me. Another nice one in here and over here. A less great one there, but it's small, so it'll probably come home with me too. Got a little drainage creek here. I think all those lines in there are people's footprints from trying to walk through the mud. So I'm not gonna attempt that. <laughs> but I did find a little horn coral over here. I found a really, really big crinoid stem. Getting the sunlight for ya. Maybe that's actually part of a horn coral. Can't tell for sure. I thought it was a crinoid at first. More nice finds by Alex. Looks like mostly horn corals. Okay. Oh, a little trilobite bit. Very nice. A little imprint of trilobite right here on the bottom of this rock. Another piece with a little trilobite butt right in there. Another one I just broke open. There's two on that piece. And you see a chisel to break into the rocks on the plane. So hopefully there's more in this piece. So it seems like the thing to do in this area is to break open these chunks of rocks. Um, we found a few so far by just breaking open the rock and they'll be on the inside. Uh, is there any in that one? No, there's not. But uh, it's really easy to break open. It's shale, so it's pretty, pretty soft. You can usually break it open with just a regular hammer. We have rock hammers and chisels, but I think you can rent tools here too. Broke up in a couple of uh, rocks, and there's a couple of little crinoid stems in there. 
Oh, nice one right there. All right, we had a little bit of luck in the trial by area, but not a ton. We're gonna go over to the surface collecting area. And I think there's a crinoid area. So we'll check those out before we head out. And another little brachiopod piece. So I think they said over by one of these green pavilions was the crinoid area where you could find like hundreds of crinoids just laying on the ground. So hopefully we can find something. Well, we got one here, two, three, there's one over here too. Four. They're so cute, I love crinoids. Five over here. Uh, I don't know what that is. That might be part of a trilobite, we'll keep that. Let's see, any other crinoids in this area? There's a little stem of a crinoid here. Maybe. little guys. Alex has another little trilobite eye. And I just found this nice little brachiopod. Found a little trilobite head. You got the eyes on both sides and then it's like the middle part there. Yay! Look at the size of this crinoid and the perfect little star in the middle. I love him. Oh. There's another two small ones there so for scale the big one. The other ones behind it are the normal sized. Big little there. All right, everyone, we are heading on out. We've got a whole bucket of finds down here. Um, lots of crinoids, lots of horn corals, a couple of trilobites. So overall, great day of collecting. Highly recommend checking this place out. I will throw in a slideshow of some of our finds at the end. But uh, overall, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks again. Have a good day.